Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a French braid rain balloon bracelet. Um, I have made this bracelet before, but um, I lost them and I cannot find them. So I won't be showing you, I guess I'll just be showing you at the end. So all you'll be needing for this video are two pegs, your seed clip, a hook, and some looms. So let's get started with this video. All right guys. Um, so I just wanted to tell you guys that this bracelet is very easy to make so don't stress out if you can't do it the first few tries because my first few tries were it was pretty hard so but once you get the hang of it it's super easy just like anything so yeah so let's get started all right guys so um Go ahead and grab your pegs. You will only be needing two. Um, since I'm right-handed, I will need, I'm gonna be moving the peg, the open-sided, the open side of the pegs to the right. So that way my hand can comfortably work through my bracelet. So anyways, go ahead and pick your colors. I picked green, like green and white. So yeah. Um, um, all I'm gonna say is that this bracelet is very easy to make. Um, it might sound kind of confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's very easy. So don't worry if you don't get the hang of it at first. So anyways, so go ahead and grab your first color. My color would be this white. Um, and put it like this. So make an eight with your white then I'm gonna grab my green and then once again my white I'm gonna put the white touching this the other one not touching but like the same color and I'm gonna grab my green I'm gonna put this down put this one down too then you're gonna grab your hook um and then you're just gonna grab the bottom layer and then release it grab the bottom layer Put it through and release okay so this is the first step you will not you're not going to be needing to repeat this step the second step is the one that you that's the like the hooking process step the most important one it's technically the only step you're going to be needing um this is just how to make the base step so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and explain to you guys the second step right now all right so this is like I'm gonna put I'm gonna separate these a little bit so that way you guys can see them even though they're different colors um like that so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my white I'm gonna be alternating so if there's green on top I'm gonna be putting white on top so I'm gonna put white on top and then I'm gonna grab my green. So you'll have two layers of the same thing. So green, white, and for me, green, white, and green, white for me. So that's up to now we're good. This is gonna be the tricky part, the part where you will be repeating for this whole bracelet. Um, you will be needing to keep count of this, and that's why I might not be talking much in this video so if you so this video you're going to be doing if you grab the bottom layer first so i'm going to grab the bottom layer of this one first and then if you grab the bot the top layer of this one that way on one side you have the green so for me on one side i have green and then on the other side i have white so it's one and one so until there we're good so you're just gonna keep on doing that so i did bottom middle so i'm gonna go ahead and do that again so i'm just gonna keep count of it so i did bottom middle bottom middle bottom middle just keep repeating it to yourself that way you remember because i remember very easily so yeah. so i did bottom Oh no, I'm not supposed to do that. Oh god. 
Okay, sorry about that, guys. You're supposed to do top and middle, and then you grab this one, bottom, bottom, top, top, okay, and there we have our first part of it. So, good job, guys. Um, I know it's kind of tricky, but don't worry, you'll be able to do it. You might notice that I might be changing some parts of it, but to be honest, it's really easy, so don't worry if you get it wrong. Okay, guys, so um, for this bracelet, I'm not really following all the steps from the video. Shouldn't the video did it a little bit differently, um, and I'm not going to be telling you why right now. I will be telling you in the description below, so go ahead and check that out. Um, but I'm going to tell you that if you do it my way, it will come out a little bit more squared, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, and it also just comes out like that, and it's still a fishtail, so a fish braid. You can call it fishtail or fish braid. It's the same thing. Guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to the part where I have finished this bracelet. So I will be right back. All right, guys, here we go. I have finished my length. Um, I probably will be doing like two more with you guys. That way you guys can check if you guys did it correctly. I'm just gonna move you guys a bit more like this so you guys can see it. So since I have white here, I'm gonna put my green. And then since I have my green, I'm gonna put my white because these two are pairs. Bring them down a little bit that way I can move my white up because it went down. So there we go. Then we're gonna grab our green, put it up. Grab our white, put it up, put it down push it down sorry grab our green once again grab our white grab I'm at first I would grab one 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 but I just decided why not just grab all three together so I would grab all of these together and that would move then I'm gonna grab all of these together that and like that move them down and just stretch it all right guys so here we go i have finished my length go ahead and grab your c-clip and just leave it there close to you that way um because it's going to come in handy in like two minutes so go ahead and grab your next color i'm just going to grab white even though there's white right there you're gonna do the same step as always, or actually I'm gonna grab green, that way it looks better. So I'm gonna grab green. We're gonna do the same steps. So just green, white, but instead in this one, you're gonna put all of them together, just like that. Gonna push, I'm gonna pull it a little bit down. I do it with my fingers um, because why not? It's easier, so yeah. So you just put it like that. Grab your C-clip. Told you it would come in handy. And you're just gonna pop it through like that or whatever way you like to pop it through. And then you can, you're can you allowed to take it all out. Okay, so I'm just gonna move all of that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and you're gonna see these two ugly little looms hanging around there. So I'll just go ahead and try to um, hook them so gonna I do it like this I grab two fingers and I just hook it um but if you guys have your own method that's okay um so I'm gonna show you guys how it looks um I'll be right back alrighty guys this is what it looks like 
Um, so please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up if this tutorial helped you. Um, and please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I am trying to get to 100 subscribers. It would be amazing if I could do that. Um, but anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you like this bracelet. And if you guys want me to do, um, I want you guys to know that I did a tutorial on how to make this Stanty Twist Rain Balloon Bracelet. Um, it's down in the description below. Go ahead and go check that video out too. So, yeah. I like this bracelet a lot too. It's reversible. You can use it like this and like this. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. And I hope you liked this video just like I did. Just like I liked filming it. Um, I really hope you like this bracelet. Just the, how much I like it. Um... It's just very fishy and taily, so <laughs> that's why it's called a fishtail. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, and yeah, bye!